Welcome back. We are here looking at the U.S. indexes. We'll look at first the S&P 400, the Dow Jones, and the Nasdaq. And this is going to be my daily forecast for the U.S. indexes for Monday, October 19, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscriber button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. So we rallied a little bit on Friday. And when I say we rallied a little bit, is because most for most of the time there is a rally on Friday, but this was not a very encouraging rally. We did uh, rally around this was around one uh, percent before ending up a rally just above half a percent, and at this point I do believe that we'll go heading towards the fifty moving average. I did expect that to happen on on on. Uh, Friday, but we technically rallied and then and and then we pulled back. So at this point, if you look at the technical indicators, they are all showing signs of weakness for the S&P 500. And probably the main reason is that there was not going to be a stimulus package before the election. Uh, I know there is news out today on Sunday. Uh, Saturday was released, that the Senate has approved a $200 billion package for stimulus. And that is just an absolute joke. It was $200 or $300, but it was at least just a, a, a joke compared to the $2 billion package that the Democrats uh, wanted. So there is most likely not going to be any negotiations or 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 any settlement on a stimulus bill before the elections and from the democratic side why would they give donald trump a win just before the elections they are about to uh, make a landslide win in this um, in this election and after they have won they can basically do whatever they want so um, at this point i do believe there will be a lot of uncertainty there there's not there's no purpose for this market to basically rally to the to the to the all-time highs when there is no sign of any stimulus. This market is purely driven by liquidity, not fundamentals. So if you don't add more liquidity, why in the world would you have higher levels? So we most likely will fall towards the 50 moving average. If that breaks, then we'll go to the 100 moving average at 3,288. And I don't believe that this market is going to, this index is going to go lower than that. I just made a video of the tech stocks, which are a big part of the S&P 500. And they are all showing signs of weakness and they are going to lower levels within the previous next week. If you look at the technical indicators for the S&P 500, the, uh, the, um, the MACD is about to turn around, showing signs of weakness. We are also heading to, to lower levels you know, to compare it when you look at the RSI. Same goes for the CCI, same goes for the stochastic, and also the Bollinger Band is basically you know, showing, it's tra trading sideways at the moment, but I don't believe this will hold. We'll go towards the... the, the the moving average here, which is a, the 20 moving average. And after that, we will probably go much lower. So this is not a the stock that you, uh, or index that you basically short. Uh, fall towards the 100 moving average is a, a good sign of a buying opportunity. So if you look at the Dow Jones, Dow Jones rallied and then had a major pullback. Uh, we st did still have a positive 0 0.39 uh, percentages in on Friday session, but this pullback is not a good sign for uh, the Dow Jones. Uh, we will first test the 20 uh, exponential moving average at um, 28,209. Then we'll go to the 50 moving average at the uh, 27,981 and after that we'll go all the way to the 100 moving average at 27,000 um, and uh, that is probably likely that we'll go there. 
If you look at technical indicators, they are all showing signs of weakness. Uh, MACD is flat at this point. We'll probably cross the signal line on Monday or Tuesday. The, the RSI and the CCI are showing signs of, um, of this market turning around. Same goes as stochastic and the Bollinger Band is, well, not showing signs of anything at this point. But first of all, we'll go towards this um, 20 moving average at 27. 1928 no point of uh, buying this market at the moment because it, it, this will most likely go lower if you look at the nasdaq we can see that we pull back a little bit not substantially but for friday sessions this is probably a major pullback so at minus 0 0.39 was the pullback for, for NASDAQ. And if you look at the, my video for the tech stocks, you can see that most of the tech stocks were, or the major companies in the tech stocks were negative, uh, 1%, 2%. And that is not going to go, become better in the next week. We can just see the technical indicators are all turning around for the NASDAQ, the MACD, the RSI, CCI, and so on and so on. Everything is pointing to lower levels. So we will, first of all, test the 20 exponential moving average at 11,640. Then we'll go to the 50 moving average at 11,495 before breaking down towards these lower levels. And we need something, or the 100 moving average here at 10,890. I don't believe that will go lower than that. Um, at this point, at least. Uh, rally to the upside, I don't see that either. We may see a rally when we get close to the 50 moving average, uh, but but at this point, without any stimulus or, or, uh, or intervention from Congress, uh, I don't see this market going significantly higher. So, hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by hitting the subscribe button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. Good luck and happy training.